65 million years of hunter and hunting, adapting and counter-adapting. The twisting and turning of fleet-footed prey pushed the cats to evolve a killing bite. And the dogs towards endurance. Bone-crushing scavengers evolved to rifle what was left. The ancient bears took a different route, a vegetarian diet. But a whole killing field remained unexploited. Small animals that escaped the ancient predators by going underground. Deep in their burrows, they were safe. Until the carnivores countered again. Killers with long, thin bodies. This is their story. There's something nightmarish about a weasel, something sinister that makes us shudder. In their miniature world, these long, thin killers are as aggressive as any tiger. The story of the weasel family goes back 38 million years. It's a story of the adaptation of a long, thin body shape to very different uses and starts in the treetops of subtropical Eurasia. Long, thin bodies were a popular shape for many early carnivores. Most grew larger. The weasel family reversed the trend, and one line put their smaller, long, thin body plan to use for digging. The first prototype, like today's wolverine, would have been a compact, professional digger. Powerful, but as yet, still quite large. Wolverines are good climbers. Their large, fur-covered feet made perfect snowshoes. Wolverines are opportunistic scavengers, although they can kill winter-weakened reindeer. Early American settlers called them gluttons or devil bears. Eskimos call them the evil one. Another line of those early diggers became quite a bit smaller. Today they survive as badgers. The European badger is only one of nine badgers worldwide. It's a woodland animal, preferring earthworms. But like all badgers, will also take fruit, nuts, even plants. The Chinese ferret badger pursues its omnivorous lifestyle in the jungles of Southeast Asia. Foraging at night helps it avoid its enemies. The honey badger ranges from forest to savanna to arid desert, but primarily a digger by profession. Early on in their evolution, one of the badger's ancestors crossed into North America. Today, it's hardly changed.
Just like other badgers, the American badger is a powerful digger with a compact body. But unlike other badgers, adults are mainly carnivorous and feed mostly on ground squirrels. Both predator and prey are at home underground. So this hunt is a struggle of might versus smallness and agility. With their broad, flat feet and large, curving claws, the badger is the better digger. But as underground hunters go, it's still quite big. And its size ultimately stops it following the squirrel underground. While one branch of weasels mastered digging, 28 million years ago, another, now smaller ancestor in the forests of Eurasia had taken the long, thin body and begun to adapt it for water. That early aquatic weasel probably had a lifestyle similar to a mink. Today, mink are a wonderful compromise, a halfway house, partially adapted to both land and water. It's made them accomplished all-purpose killers, but it's in the water that the compromise shows. Their underwater eyesight is blurred and their maneuverability poor. It's a very different picture for today's otters. Their underwater maneuverability is superb. Otters are designed down to the minutest detail for the water. For instance, the ears, eyes and nose are streamlined onto the top of the head. So when the otter is swimming on the surface, only a few centimetres show above the water. Yet it can still hear, see and breathe. As the otters took to moving in three dimensions, their bodies became more sinuous and flexible. Their feet became webbed and their tails flattened to power them through the water. The otters sacrificed the compromise of their ancestors to take advantage of the abundance of prey that either swam in the water or sat on the bed. The result is a playful, somewhat social aquamarine specialist. Some otters evolved to hunt fish, catching them in their mouths with sharp incisors and eating them with scissor teeth. Others on other continents chose different fare and evolved different techniques to get it. Prey of the Cape clawless otter lies on the bed of murky lakes and estuaries. Good eyesight is of less use here. Instead, this otter has evolved sensitive, webless fingers to probe for bottom-dwelling shellfish. It grabs food with its hands and often stays in the water to eat. Specially flattened teeth at the back of the jaw crush and splinter shells. 